we go on to make a beginning by talking about what exactly is the meaning of morality. Now, there cannot go on to be a universal meaning of morality of sorts, eh? but once uh, in trying to make it simple, the one sentence that we can go on to say with respect to morality is that morality is something that is always going to be felt. It's not judged. I repeat that part. Morality is something that is always felt. It is never judged. Now, there is no way that you can go on to judge a conduct of a person and go on to classify it or brand it or brandish it as immoral or moral. Largely because you are not in the circumstance, you are not into that situation where you can go on to brand it or you can go on to say that has been moral or this has been moral. If you feel that is going to be moral, it is. If you don't go on to feel it, it's not. Now, whether you go on to feel it and your conscience goes on to say that it is moral, then that's okay. If your conscience doesn't go on to say it so, despite the fact that it may be moral, then eh, may be immoral to some other people, that means eh, you are short on knowledge, you are short on intuition, you are short on values. Eh. You are short in eh, what we are going to be calling in Hindi and Sanskrit as sanskar. You are short in the way that you have been made a human being. That means you are not a human being of sorts in this case. The meaning of customary morality in this case is that is a morality that has been set in terms of customs. That is something that was in the past. That is, it, it, it goes on to be in a prescriptive approach. It is going to be in the should be approach in this case. And when we are going to be talking about the should be approach, we are essentially talking about that is, yeah, this is what should happen. This is what should happen. And uh, that way you can go on to find a variety of type of uh, themes uh, that can go on to belong to customary morality, including uh, whether a person should go on to take a bribe or not, whether a person should go on to earn a money or not. Now, as you can go on to understand it some time back, uh, we are just going to take one example. Some time back, eh, when China got its liberation, eh, then Mao Tse Tung declared, I want to see everyone prosperous. Now think of it, he was talking about that, I want to see all of you people earning money. In India, this was a taboo to an extent, to a large extent in the early part of the 20th century. And we used to christen all of those eh, poor people as a eh, Another avatar, another reincarnation, reincarnation will not be the right word in this case or incarnation. Eh? It will be avatar of God, Daridra Narayan. That means eh, God lives in poor people. Now that was one of the ways in which eh, we used to be talking about eh, the poor people. Now this paradigm has gone for a change. That customary morality has gone for a change. And when we're going to be talking about customary morality in this case, eh, we are going to be talking about that is eh, that it was one part. Marriage used to be a part of it. Eh. Anything that used to be seen outside the marriage, that was something that was a big, big issue. So this is what has been meant by customary morality. That this goes on to get it reflected in a relationship that is in economic affairs, eh, that is in teaching. For, for a teacher, the customary morality was that he had to be strict. He never had to be friendly. For a teacher, it was essential that uh, he was given the task of reforming the candidates. Now dare reform any student right now. They will go on to destroy you on the social media. However, the concept of morality goes on to vary. That is uh, in space and in time and also that uh, that is, uh, changes in variations, uh, changes in variations have taken place in space uh, on customary morality as well as in time. That means uh, what may be considered as moral or immoral in, uh, in one place, in one part of the country, maybe in Indians, in India, Indians outside, that will be different. What will be considered as a moral in Iceland may not be considered as moral in India. What will be considered as immoral in India for example, if you go on to, don't go on to be strict to your child in India, it is immoral. It was immoral. To an extent, it is immoral still. Dare you go on to do, do that uh, to a child in Norway? You can't go on to do that. 
you will be put in jail in this case. So the concept of morality and immorality keeps on varying between time, keeps on varying between space. So what was moral some time back may not be moral now. In terms of job hopping, you can go to say that is some time back when people used to join a company, it was a lifelong relationship with the company. There was no job hopping. Now you're going to find that is a, a person who is going to be tied to a company for a whole of this life, you're going to find that is a, you're going to say that what a fool the person is. It's a smartness eh, to go for it, eh, to ditch your company. It's a smartness eh, to use your company. It's a smartness to use the people who go on to give you a job. Eh. It's a smartness eh, to, to stab them in the back. It's, that is eh, the meaning of a smartness. We're not going to be doing it so. You are not smart and you're not fit for this world. Loyalty doesn't going to be having a meaning. Now we're going to talk about, of course, the times have changed, culture has changed, that is a lifestyle. Culture means the way of life, the way of life has changed. Our approach towards life has changed and that's the reason that is, uh, you do going to find uh, some of the most honest people now, they can go into in multiple relationships, but with all of them, they are very, very, very transparent. Now, since uh, so many things have changed, uh, and in all of those the con concepts, eh, the customary morality that used to be there, that it doesn't go on to fit into it. Customary morality, of course, eh, cannot go on to be a guide to modern life. Eh. Customary morality can only go on to be a go on to be a base eh, on which you can go on to build a new type of morality. Morality is a time specific, region specific, person specific, environment specific. Eh, and it is this way that it has to be interpreted right now because that is what is modern. 